all right all right all right welcome to what hopefully may be a series ships at sea i know i'm a bit late to the party but i finally got my hands on it courtesy of safe shows shout out to you and uh gave it a go on stream today seemed like it was a pretty good game so i thought you know what let's actually make something out of it so far we've done the tutorial we've gone through the sort of starting jobs we've gone through battering the boat about um so we should have some experience now so if you want to see what basically is pretty much part one of this i don't know series if it is going to be a series then make sure you check out the stream that i recorded today today's date being the 26th of august 2024 let's get into it so we should have okay a few auto saves fair enough uh, i do set the game to auto save every half an hour or so hence why there's 30 minute intervals you can change that uh but more in that when you catch the stream i.e part one let's get into it word of warning though this is a uh huh interesting and i'll get to why that's interesting very very soon anyway one thing i will put out there as a word of warning this is an early access game uh, when you first, first, first load up the game, there's a whole paragraph, almost an article, <laughs> to be honest, about what to, how to expect bugs and this and that and how more areas are going to come. But you may get some funny stuff going on and whatnot. Just your typical early access shtick. So just putting it out there, the game is not complete. Still very much an early access. It's been on the Steam store for a while now. However, uh, clearly still does need some work. Uh, as you probably might see, uh, as we saw earlier on the stream. And now the reason why I said interesting upon initially loading in was because as you can see, we can barely see anything. Uh, so let's take a rest, which I found looking at the clock allows you to rest. 9.37 in game. Uh, so we'll... As a matter of fact, no, 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 no. This is the this is the wrong. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That makes actually a lot of sense that we're there. Hold on a second. Load game. There should be. There we go. Save game one. Right. That makes sense. Load into the game. That makes a lot of sense. Now we should be in the daytime with fifty grand. I think. Look at that. Ocean's a little bit rougher than what we had before, but hey, at least we're uh, back where we should be. So. We uh, were currently, and I'll sort of break down what this game basically is. Uh, we are currently on our way with, well, we had cargo, but now I see that the mission we were doing is no longer active, which puts me in an interesting position because we came initially from, uh, from Rust, I believe, and have sailed all the way from Rust uh, we came down here, came down here through, uh, through these cones and, uh, came around to here. And we were basically not too far off from our destination at Vidoya. I might pronounce something a little bit wrong. It is what it is. This kind of sucks because our office is in Ross. So that's where we take jobs from, uh, deliveries and whatnot. And, uh, it's a shame that seemingly coming back from a save game kind of just deletes your mission. So let's continue to head over to Rost anyway and uh, see if there's something there we can do. I'm pretty sure if we rest, we could get a job to spawn close by. That's what happened earlier. Now, it's not guaranteed and it could just be worth heading back towards Rost. So you know what? I think we might do that just to play it safe rather than get there, find out that we can't actually get a job and then have to go all the way back anyway. Now, as you can see, those uh, graphics were a bit funny when the water sort of comes over the boat, over the windscreen. Um, I thought that might have been DLSS. We do have DLSS enabled, but I've learned that it's not because we tried it on stream without DLSS and we were still getting like this funky artifact in. Uh, um, a lot more extreme than what we had earlier. Now, here's a little look at my settings so you can kind of gauge for yourself and compare it to maybe your own experience or other people's experience. But we're generally running a decently uh, high setting game uh, a few things on sort of the final bar on ultra a couple things well most things on high a couple things on medium foliage 
uh, which is basically just grass and trees. So it's got nothing to do with the waves that we're seeing. Uh, and reflections as well, which is basically just going to affect the surface of the water. But it shouldn't really affect, the, I don't know, being under the water, right? So doesn't seem like any of those might be the problem. Everything else seems high enough that that shouldn't be a problem. Or there could be effects. Effects, visual effects and lighting in game. Mm, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Uh, we do have DLSS in included though. We are playing at 4K though. I know you're going to be seeing this video at 1080p. Um, but yeah, this is a perfect freeze frame to kind of see that the water definitely still needs uh, a lot of work. If it does end up being just a setting thing, then yeah, fair enough. You guys can let me know. By the moment, it's sort of just what we're dealing with now. The logbook has basically our stats. Uh, so here's missions. And unfortunately, yeah, we just don't have... Uh, this is the tutorial stuff here. Uh, we don't have the current mission. Well, the current mission is no longer a current mission. There is no longer a current mission. Uh, but the mission that we were doing previously. So what we're going to do now... We are going to head back towards Rost quite a while. Uh, hopefully, we'll keep uh, we'll keep up the chat until we get there. If not, then we'll just uh, use the magic of editing, of course, to get us there nice and smooth and quick. Uh, and then see what jobs we can pick up. For fuel, we're doing pretty good for fuel. You, you can see that we're just uh, got a little bit left of the green. But we're going to get her going. And right, so we're going to head back and basically left... For a while, uh, until we until we go past these, uh, I'm gonna call them cones. I don't know exactly what the ship term is, um, so I'm just gonna call them cone for now. One thing I've learned about boats is that they take a uh, a while to turn number one, and uh, they also need movement to turn. Now these facts may seem obvious to you if you've, well. If you have any interest in uh, in boating at all but i've never played a boat game before the only boat experience i have in terms of games is uh i don't know driving a boat in gta for example that's pretty much it and so being able to do this in a bit more depth it's actually kind of cool uh you do have the uh, throttle that works obviously the gear lever as well is completely functional you can replace those uh, and talking of replacing those, you do have upgrades and the ability to upgrade. Some things are purely cosmetic, such as the uh, whole sort of thruster and gear selector situation. I think the wheel, you can change the wheel as well, upgrade that. Again, completely um, completely cosmetic. Right, yep, let's head this way. You kind of have to consider the tides and which way the tides go in because you'll see that your boat may just start drifting towards the left or towards the right uh we have a range of buttons here all usable we have a wipe we have a searchlight which is basically like the headlight uh well it's not like the headlight it's a searchlight but i sort of well it was a little bit too bright for me to use personally but you can use it as a, uh, a headlight i guess when you're traversing in the dark uh work light which is basically the rear light for the rear of the boat uh, an interior light kind of just brightens things up a little bit and our running lights uh which uh are on the side there you go let's go red and green as dictated by the image uh of the boat on our map as well the bottom left uh talking of the map on the bottom left the hard is pretty these actually no you know what before we even get there let's continue with the um upgrades so you can upgrade uh, the engine increase the uh the power i believe that it's over nine thousand talk you can upgrade the propeller, making it making the boat just a bit more. Uh, it reacts a little quicker. You can upgrade the um, there's the engine, the propeller. Oh, the propeller also. I think no, it's just mostly what I've said already. Yeah, mostly what I've said already. Um, so although it kind of barely looks like we're moving, uh, we are, as you can see, making decent headway, moving at a uh, not a very rapid five and a half knots at times, but we're moving anyway. So. Uh, can't complain I guess ultimately as you can see on the uh, right side of the HUD now going into the HUD uh, at the very bottom we've got the boat's health which as you can see is standing at about 60 to 75 percent uh, from what I said earlier with regards to the sort of the whole I was kind of figuring out how to turn a boat uh, yeah that happened basically one thing that that may happen when you um, have an incident let's say with uh, with a dock or with rocks which fortunately hasn't happened to me uh but i know it's happened to uh, a couple of you that have played this game already 
um you can get damage from uh, damage to the boat as well that way uh, above that you have basically the throttle so i'm in, i'm decreasing the throttle a little bit now so then about 75 percent decrease it a bit further you can see the uh the speed also drops to now only at three knots well four and a half now um and they won't go into the red until you go down a gear and then once you try to accelerate in reverse gear there you go it goes all the way to the red and we start moving uh we start moving backwards as you can see though we are in very very rough seas and so the boat is sort of uh it looks like the boat's just about surviving if totally honest uh we have named it lwd of course as standard on this channel we need everything lwd with us lwd logistics lwd enterprises lwd transport everything's going to be lwd branded naturally a huge wave coming over us on the left side uh, again i know there are terms uh starboard and port side is it i may be mistaken forgive me again still getting used to the terms and whatnot we are barely moving right now uh, it's not always like this the sea when once you do get towards land it does calm down a little bit and i'm assuming of course weather wind stuff like that seasons possibly i'm not too sure maybe uh play a part in it as well one thing i did notice during the stream earlier though even if the seas are this rough the boat still rocks a whole lot which is a little bit jarring seeing the water completely still around you and then the boat's basically moving like this with the water completely still uh once again of course so the game is in early access so it sort of is what it is actually continuing the hud above the uh, the throttle level you have obviously the speedo on the left side and then the fuel gauge i guess on the right side uh and in the little cog there is the ability to activate autopilot which i was figuring it out it is this thing here which is apparently on now and you can see that inside the cog we now have an a and as much as the screen looks dark I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's barely, barely, barely visible. Uh, a lit screen with some headings and something else, which I can't tell what it is right now. But like I said, I'm going to turn it off because I just don't really see a point in it. It doesn't seem to do anything. And uh, from what I've heard, it just doesn't really function properly. So I don't really use that. Uh, at the very, very top in the middle, we've got the compass. Of course, you can see your bearing. Uh, down to the degrees as well as uh, north, northwest, northeast, east, etc, etc. If you have a job, you will see the uh, marker for where the job is on the compass as well. So that will help you navigate without needing to open the map every second. On the right side of that, we've got the date and time. And on the right side of that, next to what looks like uh, Monopoly money, we have uh, our current finances, which should be, I'm not going to lie, probably a little bit closer to a hundred thousand but we spent a whole lot on repairs and uh, towing as well and that kind of brought us down a little bit talking of towing you can get a tow if you find yourself stranded uh you just open your inventory with i you hit the handle radio use and then you have this screen as you can see we could get towed to rust and just sort of speed up the process why do that when we can just sell the high seas towards there right uh we also have a uh a horn in the boat as well not too bad not too bad and uh, yeah as you guys saw earlier we have the ability to rest when looking at uh, when looking at the clock which is functional the fuel is functional I've learned that it sort of bounces this way because well the whole boat is bouncing right there's a fuel in the tank is just bouncing away as well above that our knots yeah, oil battery uh, levels and uh, engine temp and uh, yeah we also have access to the back area as well where you can play stuff we'll see you later but once you take a cargo a delivery job you'll take the cargo put it onto the boat yourself and then when you get to a destination and dock you then take stuff from the boat and drop them off at the destination yeah that's sort of just a uh, a rundown i think the best way to describe this game and by no means am i saying it's on the same level as these games there's definitely well levels um however it kind of in my opinion can be compared to sort of american truck sim or a euro truck sim on the sea it's a sort of game where you can even when the sea is a bit rough and as you can see uh the water has calmed down we're no longer in uh those massive waves that we were in earlier 
Uh, but there still is a decent amount of bounce. So actually, there's not that much compared to what we were seeing yesterday. This seems a lot more like what I would have wanted to see earlier. So yeah, it's, it's also like one of those things when you tell someone, hey, I can't find the thing. And then, you, and then you, get, you make them get up and they go there and find it instantly. Because here I am telling you guys that the, the balance of the boat was just all over the place, even on, uh, on waters that went too rough. And here we are with it behaving pretty much kind of as it should really apparently i'm a liar yeah as i was saying anyway water break as i was saying it's basically like an american truck sim like a euro truck sim in that you have a mission right you're not just floating around aimlessly you have a task at hand you have a destination you have a job to do there's money to be made there's better boats to buy there's upgrades to upgrade your boat it's very similar in that aspect right except of course that one you're in you're in the water instead of uh instead of the roads um but it's sort of that game where you you you, you sail away you, you get going and you can sort of kick back um i said earlier in the stream you know i see myself just basically doing this heading to where i'm heading to so really does it maybe listen to a podcast maybe to some music maybe watching an lwd adnan video something of the sort you know just to get you there maybe maybe read a book maybe reading a book um and so it really is that type of game although again it's in early access it doesn't have nearly the same amount of polish as those games so a bit of bias beware there i can't say i've encountered any like jarring bugs the whole return into a save game and your mission's just gone thing isn't great but i do have faith that they will get that that will get sorted out at some point down the line another thing that i noticed earlier and i'll demonstrate this once we get to rost is that some docks are floating on the on the water which means they're going up and down reacting with the with the waves and the boat and the buoyancy and when you're standing on them you're just completely still the camera's not going sort of up and down with the dock so you don't really get the feeling that you're there which is a bit of a shame uh i would have really liked to sort of really feel sort of that kind of like danger aspect almost but hopefully that will be brought in sometime soon the same can be said in relation to immersion something that i mentioned earlier on stream is that the sounds don't really match the scene right so right now, I don't have an issue with the music. The mu music's a nice touch. But there's not enough. I mean, to be honest, right now, I don't think the, wa the water's rough enough to just be hearing waves crashing around you, right? But earlier, when we first started the video, there were that many waves. They were that rough. The seas were dangerous, loud, right? Well, they should have been loud. But it's basically just this sort of soundtrack of water over and over and over again there's not really variation depending on where you are and what the water's doing at that moment in time and i'd really really love to see something like that in the future before not too long i'd also of course love to see this fix i don't know if you guys can see it at all but even on my screen i can barely see it, it almost looks like you know back in the day with those big tvs that had the bum when you watch something for too long, you might switch the channel or turn on the TV or turn on or turn the channel, sorry, to a different one and realize that whatever you were seeing, if something was static, it was burnt in to the screen. It sort of looks like something was burnt in, but it doesn't look like it's on. And yeah, I still don't understand. There is a way to like mark stuff like this on the map for yourself. And I guess it will show in the compass, will it? No, which is interesting. So that's a nice addition I'd, I'd also like to see. Uh, so if I want to go somewhere, I don't have to keep sort of, um, I don't have to keep um, checking the map every uh, every two minutes. As you can see, we're now entering uh, land. There is uh, rust. But yeah, another thing I'd like to see is just the autopilot improved, basically, so that it can actually be uh, used effectively. Another thing I would really like to have seen. Now I know obviously this game's all about ships and being at sea, hence ships at sea. However. I would have loved um, more to do on land. Uh, you'll see when we, once we get to Ross, which is basically like this, yeah, basically the starter island slash main island. There's a store, there's an office, there's a fishery, there's a, a, like a maintenance shed, but it just doesn't feel like there's a lot going on. It's not that it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on. There's just not a lot going on. I just wish there was a bit more life. I haven't seen any other boats on the seas. 
I haven't seen any other people walking around. Like, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of life um, on this in this world. Now there is there, there does seem to be a multiplayer. Whether it's actually functional or not, I actually don't know. And as we get closer and closer to Rost, uh, I would prefer to uh, see we're learning because what I was trying to do earlier was basically park it the same way I would. Uh, also, let me say dock it, right? Dock it. The same way I would have parked a, parked a car. But it sort of needs some planning and preparation. And you know what? I appreciate, um, I appreciate, you know, cruise ship sailors and just sailors in general because, man, docking is, well, judging by this, not an easy feat. Uh, I'm also not sure why we're not reversing. We are in reverse. We are doing sort of full throttle in reverse, as you can see by all the exhaust smoke coming out. Uh, and there doesn't really seem to be much going on. Right, now we're moving. There we go. And even though I've sort of... I've got the wheel turned as much as I can. Yep, there we go. Right. Uh, so there you go. That can happen. So I'm going to move it forward a touch. I'm going to try and head towards the other side. We were turned pretty much the whole way. As a matter of fact, I might just try and enter this head on, basically. And as you can see, now we're, now this is the highest amount of throttle I can apply now that we've got a bit of damage. So that's interesting to see how uh, sort of that kind of works. Now, honestly, at this point, to play it safe, I might just call for a tow. As you can see, we've still got a lot to learn with the docking situation. And even though, okay, that was an interesting hitbox, um, I won't lie. There was a decent amount of space there. I wouldn't say that one was on me. Definitely not trying to escape blame here. But I think, yeah, the safest thing I can do to bring the boat in is do it forward. Because reverse just seems like it's too much of a hassle. Uh, and it's, like the slower you go, the slower the boat turns as well. So that kind of does make a bit of sense. Slow it down as we come in. Almost to a stop. I am fully right. There you go. Took a bit more damage. And you know what? we will come to a stop. Dock it. I will take that. So as you can see on the top left, welcome to Rust. We'll click F to uh, leave the uh, sort of driving position. Turn the engine off. And uh, let's head to uh, SS at the office. So as you can see what I was saying earlier about sort of uh, the dock is very much moving in line of the water. There is some clipping over there. Um, but as you can see, our character is just completely still. Completely still. And I understand the whole bouncing up and down thing may cause a bit of nausea for a lot of people. So I'd have liked to see uh, perhaps a, uh, an option to turn it on or off rather than just not having it at all. So there she is, LWD. Uh, before, so here is the office anyway where we can get jobs. Before we do that, uh, we do have a store where we can buy uh, all sorts of different things. So there's binoculars, there's a hook for fishing. Uh, a drill for repair jobs. We can do repair jobs. We should already have a drill though, right? We've got a drill, we've got a light bulb. We might need a fuse though. Uh, we have the shipyard here. So as you can see, we've only just come onto the island. And already we've gone through three facilities already. So you can kind of see my point when I was saying that um, there's not really m much in the way of what's on land. But at the end of the day, it's, there's enough of what you need. And I guess I can't really complain. Uh, oh, customer's character. I didn't see this. So uh, I did change my name to just Adnan instead of LWD Adnan. Uh, for some reason, it didn't stick. We could choose to be a male, we could choose to be a female. And uh, there's a few different uh, outfits that you can rock. We are rocking with the, uh, the Fisherman 2 or Fisherman 1? Fisherman 2. Save that. Go to the inventory. Not the inventory. We'll press tab. And my name still is LWD Adnan. So that's just something that just doesn't change. Fair enough. Uh, switch boats on the laptop. So here is where you can look at the boat details, uh, customize the name. Ironic, isn't it? That I've used Algerian font as a uh, as a Moroccan. Uh, you can sell the boat if you want. So we bought this boat for fifty. That no, not fifty thousand. It was forty nine thousand. Forty nine thousand. Uh, so you do make quite a loss on the boat. It is what it is. So really. So here's all the things you can upgrade. Uh, internal fuel tank, so you can get 1,000 litre, uh, 1,500 litre, 2,000 litres. And I'll show you why that might, be, uh, that might be necessary as well. So here it is in comparison to what we have already. So I don't know how big a, a tank we have right now, right? Uh, but at the moment, if we were to get a... Oh no, 
Okay, standard. So we have a thousand liters, right? And this is how much we have in a thousand liters. Now, uh, if we were to get a fifteen hundred liter, we'd be at half a tank. Makes sense. Uh, and if we were to get a two thousand liter, then we'd be just before half, uh, which makes complete sense. Engine, here you go. So, uh, I mean, we've got fifty thousand. We could upgrade the engine. So right now we're sitting at eighty six horsepower. With an MBR L86 with 3200 at 3200 RPM. Uh, so that's what it maxes out at. And we could upgrade to an MBR L95. Uh, which, according to the description, boasts an impressive 95 horsepower at 3600 RPM. Uh, at next, the next one down, the L115. You can kind of see the pattern now with the name and the horsepower. 115 horsepower at 4000 RPM. And then 145 horsepower at 4500 RPM. So, yeah, it kind of does get powerful. Now, I wonder, seeing as we're at 50k, if it might just be worth waiting, because we can get another 20k in one job. Although, saying that, we yet to repair the boat, so that's gonna cause a, a dent in the in our wallet. But I might just wait. I might just wait. I don't see much point in it going from 86 to 95 and then three, uh, 400 RPM as well. Uh, it can also upgrade the propeller, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so... It, Additional power enhancement to your engine and top speed. I knew it was something else. So it's a top speed as well that increases. And you know what? To be totally honest. Now I did speak about an engine upgrade. But if you were to go top of the line. That's a hundred grand. We could just be a bit humble. And uh, stick to something like the 222 Goldfish. Which does improve our top speed anyway. And makes the engine more efficient. And I've heard. I don't know if it's true but i've heard it also improves the turning as well so i'm tempted i'm tempted i'm going to keep that there i'm going to keep that there uh so here's the steering wheel again purely cosmetic so i'm not going to rush into this right now uh well here you go talking of american and euro truck sim earlier here's basically a truck rim even with the knob not that kind of knob get your head out the gutter and again for throttles it's also completely cosmetic does look flipping nice though i won't lie but you know what we'll stick to the old school one for now this is basically the same thing but in steel and the searchlight which uh you can get a brighter and more focused beam although we don't really n intend to use that right now so yeah i think what we're gonna do honestly is i'm gonna buy this one we're going to install it and move on to rigging. So you can actually install stuff on the boat. Um, it would be nice to sort of have a preview of what it would look like. So you can install a, uh, an external fuel tank, uh, which is mounting a 50,000 litre fuel tank on board. And it's basically not for you, but it's to transport fuel. So if you choose a, a fuel transport job, that would be handy. And also if you're going to transport fish as well, there are some farms towards the bottom of the map uh, and we will go onto the map in a moment i did say i was going to touch on that earlier and there's also repairs which obviously we do need to do fortunately it's only going to cost us 7k so we're going to do repair all now in terms of the other boats this is the sort of boat you start with and i guess we still own it so you've got the uh the price of the boat the tier the max speed of it and the type of cargo you could put in it as well and that goes for all the boats. So we're currently sitting on cargo boat uh, with a max speed of 30 knots, which I've yet to hit. I've only ever seen nine. Uh, and as well as extra small cargo, we can also do small cargo, which you'll see uh, in a little while or probably on the next one. Seeing as we've gone quite a bit on this video and it's basically just been an intro, even though this is technically a part two, but it's yeah. Anyway, I guess this is a part one ultimately and it supports the small, small, small smolts tank. Uh, and an external fuel tank and then you've got the Dr. Phil. I don't know why it's called the Dr. Phil, but it's called the Dr. Phil um, I can see it's like a little bit more expensive than our 50 grand boat over here And then you've got the Flippy and the list details. You've got the conquest or list details uh, A fixer which is basically just a service boat um, as well as a Scarven which is also a service boat And it has a water cannon which is pretty cool. Talking of water cannon while we're here, we can actually we can actually operate the power washer. So if the boat's in uh, not great shape in terms of cleanliness, 
we can go ahead and uh, start the washer motor. That's us going. Pick up the uh, the power washer. And before you know it, you've got an FPS on your hands. There you go. Everything goes dark and very, very strange. Uh, this also happened earlier in the stream. I'm not really sure why. I guess if you... Okay. The further you stand away, the better it kind of seems. But it's still somewhat strange. And yeah, you can give your boat a nice clean. It's just a nice touch. We'll turn that off. And uh, yeah, so let's head to now the... Is there anything else? There is one more thing, I think. If you continue heading this way... Have we seen the fishery yet? I don't think we've seen the fishery yet. There is a store, but it's not a fishery. Looking at the jobs that we've done, there's not much in the way of fishing. And I wonder whether that's just because of our level, perhaps, or whether that's because of the type of boat we have and sort of what we have installed in the boat. So here's the fishery. And uh, you can sell fish that we have fish. Obviously nothing right now. We can purchase bait. There's all sorts of different baits for uh, all sorts of different uh, catches. And there's also gear, uh, I guess nets for net fishing and uh, long lines with as many hooks as one could possibly ask for. And yeah, that's sort of pretty much it. So this is what I would assume to be the big, busiest, biggest island. And there's not too much going on. I guess it's a nice place to sort of hang out, but uh, yeah, at the end of the day, like I said before, the game's called Ships at Sea, not people on on an island, so I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So let's head over to the office, let's take our first job and see what we get. There yeah, she is. You know what, she is a looker. I am starting to grow very fond of her, I won't lie. I am starting to grow fond of her. So we're not going to need anything from the store right now. So we're going to head over to the office and... Uh, I don't understand what the whale watching stuff is about yet. Ah, oh, you need a service boat. Right, and you do some tourists. Nice, okay, I didn't know that. Right, so with a service boat, you can do some whale watching with tourists. I can imagine that's pretty bloody cool. So what we have now, we can clean up some trash, which is uh, pretty decent. We can also deliver all types of stuff. So you've got building materials, groceries, medicine, equipment, goods, tools. Uh, we've got a bank where you can take out a loan. I'm not sure how quick time moves in this game. I don't know exactly what scale time moves at. Um, but you can see how long you have to sort of repay all the loans. Uh, we right now can do 100k. Not really going to need it right now though. And then you have services. So you've got rescue services, which is if you pay uh, a set price you can get free toes as you saw earlier it would have cost us three thousand from where we were and there's also insurance so if you're like me and you tend to destroy your boat quite often uh you can get your money back basically or some of your money back which scares me a little bit because this basically means there's a possibility of just losing your boat so let's try not to do that because we have a, we have began upgrading it and you know what because this video has continued on for much longer than I expected it, to be very honest with you. Uh, we're going to leave it here for part one of this potential series. And uh, yeah, I guess it's more of an introduction to the game itself. To sort of what we're going to be up to during the series. And what to expect. And maybe what we're working towards as well. You've seen the, the Dr. Phil. You've seen Flippy. You've seen Scarva, right? There's a lot to work towards. So uh, yeah. Next time, we'll take some jobs do those see how far we get see if we can survive if we can keep our boat and um yeah move on from there hopefully go for an engine upgrade if we can money does tend to build up pretty quickly you can take more jobs at once so we can do like several 20k jobs in one sitting although you do have to do them one by one once you've accepted the contract if that makes sense um but yeah so if you guys have enjoyed it please do let me know it's not really your kind of thing also, let me know that as well, and then I sort of gauge an idea on whether it's worth doing a series on this or not. The guys on stream seem to love it. Uh, we are going to do more of it, so I'm happy to do either one. If it needs to be given a rest, I'll do that. If it needs to be played some more for your entertainment, I'll do that as well. That's what I'm here for, eh? So, uh, yeah, please do let me know by leaving a comment, preferably a like as well, and a sub if you're new here. Uh, I do also stream six days a week, every day but Sunday. Uh, feel free to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash LWD Adnan. Until next time, take care of each other, take care of yourself, stay safe, health is wealth, 
and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.